KKK Jeans up Little scrap crap I got money Be a me Be a me Money in the bank Hey guys I am back with a new video and this video I'm sure uh, is going to be appreciated by a lot of you because I'm going to run a test here and I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to get hundreds of thousands of unique uh, website records uh, from various search engines uh, that you can use for your marketing. Um, so in this video, uh, I am using PygumBot, which is one of the number one data harvesting tools out there on the marketplace. Uh, it is a must-have tool for many marketing agencies and internet marketers themselves. And uh, it has a few different uh, search engines currently, and we're constantly adding more, but right now it has uh, a few different search engines uh, that you can use currently. Um, in the software to harvest data from. Um, in this video, I am going to use uh, yahoo.com to harvest data. And I'm going to run this test over a 24 hour period. And at different intervals, I'm going to show you the results that I'm getting and how this works. So, the first thing I do is I come to this little drop down menu here uh, in PyGumBot and I select uh, my search engine. In this case, as I mentioned, it's going to be yahoo.com. And then I'm going to use the default footprint, the default contact form footprint that's built in. Uh, as you can see, this drop down menu right here uh, says default uh, automatically. Uh, if you were to load your own footprints, you could uh, choose the option after loading your own footprints to use the custom footprints. But uh, in this test, I'm just going to use the, the default footprints with, with my keywords. Uh, since I am using footprints, I am going to check box the option here in the scrape settings for keywords with footprints. Uh, and then I am going to load my keywords. So I have uh, a list of keywords, about 15,000 unique keywords that I'm going to load into PygumBot. And we're going to harvest uh, contact pages for different websites uh, throughout the internet on, on Yahoo uh, that we can use for our marketing. Now why am I use, uh, harvesting the contact pages of these websites? Because I'm going to use these contact pages later on to actually submit to their websites uh, to uh, promote my service to them. Uh, which a lot of people do and you may not be uh, promoting you know the same type of services that I am or maybe you have a unique thing like for example maybe you want to contact website owners uh, to get reviews on a product or service or uh, you want to pay them to place links on their websites etc um, you can use it for whatever you want on the contact form submission if you're looking for contact pages for websites um, but anyways, that is what I'm scraping for. So let me add my keyword list here real quick. And um, it is going to be these, uh, whoops, wrong file. Now as these load, um, you'll see that there's 15,000 plus. And I got these keywords uh, from the PygumBot keyword uh, the definitive keyword and footprint list uh, that's sold on pygumbot.com's website and uh, a lot of people you know may overlook this list think they can come up with their own keywords but when it comes to bulk data harvesting I mean there's millions of unique examples that you can use here because I know a lot of people struggle with coming up with keywords and especially if you're going to be doing bulk harvesting like I'm going to show in this video you're definitely going to want to have uh, some type of data information like that uh, so I would seriously recommend that you consider possibly purchasing that keyword list uh, to be able to do exactly the same thing that I'm doing here in this uh, example so anyways I have my keywords loaded as you can see there's 15,772 um, I'm not gonna load a blacklist so this is gonna be true results uh, some people may have blacklists that they run when they're scraping so they don't uh, get websites uh, that they may not want to get data on uh, or they've already acquired data on that. 
if you do load a blacklist um, and you try to run this exact same example that I'm showing here, um, you will probably end up with different results than I am. If you want to do the exact same scrape that I'm doing here, uh, you would need that exact same keyword list that I'm running. Every keyword list, you know, depending on how short it may be uh, or how long it is and, and how unique the keywords are, will result in different amounts of results from the search engines. So I do want to make that clear that you may load 15,772 different keywords than me and your result amounts may be more or it may be less than what I get over this 24 hours period of harvesting data from Yahoo. Uh, anyways, I have my keywords loaded. Um, I'm going to change my throttle here for uh, go to three seconds and five seconds intervals. So it will delay the scraping process during this three to five second interval. Um, now I have that set. I don't have any other uh, options that I'm going to set up on this settings that I'm using here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it and start the scraping process. Um, once the scraping process is started, um, I will, you know, go ahead and fast forward the video at different intervals. For example, I'll check in at uh, the two hour mark, show you guys what it's at. I'll check in at the eight hour mark, show you guys where it's at. I'll check in at the 12 hour mark, show you where it's at. And then I'll also check in at the 24 hour mark uh, to show you the final results that we've acquired here. So anyways, stay tuned and uh, let's see what happens here. Alright guys, it has been 24 hours since we started this little test here and as you can see, looking at these results, uh, we are able to get PygonBot to process more than 721 keywords in Yahoo um, over a 24 hour period. And out of those 721 keywords, there were more than 190,000 uh, URLs processed and parsed uh, to get our data. Out of the 190,000 plus uh, website links, we were able to find 85,000 unique URL contact pages that we are going to use to market our services to other website owners and businesses. And uh, of course, there was 106,000 duplicate URLs, which those are just going to be discarded because all we need is the one link. Uh, anyways, that is an average of 133 URLs being processed every single minute during that 24 hour period. Now, you can always increase these results uh, by changing the delay settings, uh, but uh, I think this is a pretty safe setting. I didn't have to use proxies. I didn't have to use any type of third-party services to get these type of results. This was very simple, very easy, and you can do the same thing. Anyways, I hope that this video uh, helps a lot of you guys, and if you need the power to be able to uh, collect tons of bulk data really um, unlimited amounts of bulk data for your business for your marketing needs uh, PygonBot is definitely the way to go anyways you guys have a great day and you keep on keeping on